Hey guys, Vikram Parolkar here. Welcome back to HIMSS 2021. We're continuing our series here. Uh, we previously did attended automation, but today we're gonna be diving into healthcare application testing. And so why exactly is healthcare application testing needed? For those of you in the healthcare space, you know you're probably using applications all the time. One of the most common applications that we actually see is Epic. So what is Epic? Well, Epic in its state is an EMR, an electronic medical record platform. Epic is just one of these EMRs. You have ones from NextGen Healthcare, ones from Oracle, ones from Cerner. And each of these applications requires regular updates. Epic, for example, does quarterly releases. And every time there's a upgrade or a change to a new module being released, you need to make sure that that change in an application didn't impact any previous business processes you might have had. And so if you're instituting new business processes or instituting automations, it's required to, anytime you make a change, go back and go through a series of tests and make sure that all of those tests still pass after a change. And so why is this a key area of opportunity for an organization? Well, today, Epic application testing or EMR application testing is a heavily manual process. You have about 80 to 100 FTEs doing these processes, going through each test case, step-by-step step, taking screenshots. We really want to automate that and transform the manual tester into a digital tester. Not only if they still are required to do manual testing, they can use a digital assistant to supplement that, but also instead of doing tests day in and day out, anything that can be regression tested, we want to automate that on the back end and free up the time to create new test cases automate different business processes. And there's a lot of reusability when we're thinking about testing. And so here we see UiPath Test Suite. It's ultimately composed of four different products. First, you have the developer environment. That's UiPath Studio. Most of you are probably familiar with it. We introduce testing functionality that is sometimes referred to as Studio Pro. Here, a developer can use drag and drop coding in order to easily indicate where a robot should click or what a robot should type into a specific UI element. The great thing about Studio and UiPath as a whole is that we work extremely well with Citrix environments. And so even if you have those remote desktop environments, you have the ability to automate them reliably. Once I've developed an automation in Studio, I can then deploy it via Orchestrator to my test robots. And so what you see here on the right-hand side of the screen is Core RPA. Now, where we added testing functionality is testing has typical processes. For those that aren't as familiar with testing, there are things called requirements where you want to understand what exactly does the business want tested. And for each requirement, you actually have the steps behind a test case that need to be automated. All of these are documented in application lifecycle management tools today. Those could be tools like Jira, Azure DevOps, ServiceNow, MicroFocus ALM. And whatever tool your organization is using today, UiPath has the ability to integrate with it. And how do we do that integration? Well, that's where Test Manager comes in. Test Manager can be a standalone application management tool, or it can act more as a web service, integrating the automation platform with that application lifecycle management tool you use today. And so let's take a look at this. What I have here is Jira. So Jira, a common application lifecycle management tool, this is where I might collect requirements for my business, assign them to different manual testers, and the testers will go into this tool and create different test cases. And we can see those here. I have one open in the second tab. I have a test case around checking successful login. The manual steps behind this test case are opening a browser, typing in username, typing in password, logging it in, and verifying that a member search UI element is visible on the screen. And so while I have this test case available in Jira, it's fully integrated with UiPath Test Manager. And so those exact same test cases that we saw in Jira will also be visible within 
test manager. And so why is this important? Why do we have this integration? Two reasons. First, a manual tester might not be doing the, doc, uh, the uh, actual development of an automated test case. They're very focused on documentation and uh, defining the business requirements. That's where we can actually have this manual steps tab and document this test case with task capture. What task capture is, is a desktop application where I can easily record all of the clicks and types that I'm doing and create robust documentation for my developers supplemented with screenshots. And so what exactly am I doing each step along the way? This is what my developer will replicate on the robot. Why is this integration helpful? Well, not only are we getting robust documentation that the developer can use, I can also export this as a skeleton studio file that my developer can then use. So they're not st starting off from a blank slate, they actually have a Visio diagram, recorded clicks, typing that they can use to accelerate and get faster time to value of these automations. The second thing we see here is that I have an overview and I can see historically all of the different test executions that might have occurred in the past and I can link the automations. So now any of the automations I've created, they're gonna flow back from Orchestrator, back to Test Manager, back to my ALM tool. And so that full syncing, while UiPath provides the automation functionality, Test Manager is the integration point with the tools that you're using today. So let's go ahead and see this in action. In front of us, we have UiPath Orchestrator, and this is where my testers can schedule different tests to execute at predefined times, or they can execute manually from either the Orchestrator interface or the Test Manager interface we saw previously. I'm gonna run a test set, which is a grouping of test cases. And in this scenario, I have three different test cases. The first test case we see here is just checking the login functionality of this mock EMR solution. The second thing we're gonna see here is interoperability. How does me interacting with this EMR solution work with interacting with a claims portal? And so I'm gonna collect the claim numbers from this screen and then navigate here to the claims portal and check the status of each of these activities. Now my expectation, if the integration between these two systems is accurate, that all the statuses should be active, we'll see and view the results a bit later on. And the last test set case in our test set is going to be verifying plan details inside of our EMR solution. And so we're gonna be retrieving member search, name, last name, address, comparing it against our expected results, which again, this data can come from any number of sources. It can come from a database. It can come from a test data set. Um, it's really up to the tester to be able to manipulate that. So let's view the results. We can see here that the first test case passed, but the other two failed. And what is the information that I as a tester am interested in? Well, for the one that passed, I can view the assertions. And I wanted to make sure that that member ID element existed. You'll notice here that with UiPath, we get two things. Not only are we checking whether it passed or failed, we're also gonna get a screenshot so that I, as a tester, I can view the results and check if a test failed, maybe why it failed, and I can raise a defect accordingly. For the interoperability use case, you can see here, again, viewing the assertions, I have four different claims that this was passed through. And it failed on the first one, and the reason it failed was the claim status should have been paid, but it was actually still active. And so that tells me I can go to my engineers, hey, there was this claim, it didn't sync correctly between the two systems. Can you go ahead and investigate that further? Uh, because the change that you made in the application most likely impacted this. And so that's just a sneak peek of healthcare application testing. Remember, 
regardless of what application you're working with, whether it's a web application, a mobile application, uh, Citrix-based applications like Epic or Cerner or Facets, you can use UiPath to automate the testing behind those. Uh, join me the rest of the week. We'll be talking a bit more uh, about different topics of UiPath. And if you want to learn more about application testing in the healthcare environment, there's actually a link at the bottom of this post to a, we a webinar that we had done previously. Thanks and talk to you soon.